Hello, bonjour, namaste, mahaba, guten tag, buongiorno, buonasera. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario Forex Otherway, the, the channel for traders run by trader. In today's video, I'd like to show you how you can determine trend line angles called sometimes guns angles without using any special tool. I think this method is much more precise. Anyway, very simple, just take a few minutes. Let's start the rock and roll. So today is 25th of September 2020. In yesterday's video, I told you that it might be a key day in reversal today. Is the correction going to finish up over here or not? Is it going to turn back? We don't know yet, but it looks like a turning point. Depends what people think over the weekend and what's going to happen over the weekend as well. So as I told you, I want to show you one trick. You can, you can drag very nice trend lines, harmonic ones. And I hope it will, it will help your training. So the, pers the procedure is as follow. We got first impulse over here of this uptrend, which started on, when was that? It was in May somewhere. Let me, let me check it. It was on May 14th of May, 2020. And the first impulse stopped right over here. So we had a low here, a high here. So let's drag a rectangle here, all right? Let's draw a rectangle. It's very simple geometric method. And let me continue. I drag another one because this is the first piece of the cycle, first leg, harmonic ones. Let's check what's going to happen with the next one. All right, well, let's do it lovely. Let's change the color. For example, I will change the color into yellow. Let's do it this one. That's lovely, this one. Okay, let's drag it and let's, let's change the color again just to distinguish the, these two rectangles. All right, let's change it into, let's say, what, what should it be? Oh, this one, it might work. It is lovely, isn't it? It's a tree-colored flag. Let's make another one. And let's try to do it the most precise possible. All right, leave it like that. Change the color again. Let's change it into light blue, for example. And you will love it. You will love it. I'm sure you will. Let's drag another one and the, it's last but not least. And let me show you what I'm going to do with this one. Let's get it into the, oh, let's make it dark green. Would it be all right? Oh, it's beautiful. It's too dark. Sorry. Let's change it. Let's change it to the, to the pinky. Where is my pinky? It's over here. Is it pinky? It's not. It's, well, let's do this one. Lovely. So we are done at the moment. Now it's the, the important part. So we've got harmonic divisions of this starting part of the cycle. We consider that it may repeat into the future as many times as possible. What we have to do right now. First, drag a simple line from this very bottom over here. We drag a line and drag it through the first corner which is this one. The next one we will draw over here again from through the other end of the corner, the end of the second cycle. And the magic begins right now. When you observe it right here, let's draw another one. Look, it will be somewhere over here, more or less, let's say. We got two more to go. Here's the next one. Okay. Uh, let's do it more precise. And the last but not least, because in this way you can develop, you can develop these angles in infinite. So you may realize that it's like having this angle every time. That's how it works. If you don't believe me, just calculate it. Simple trig trigonometry and you'll be done. Important thing when you move this, it doesn't replace. Let's have a butchers if it replaces when we 
make it bigger. It doesn't, you see? It always keeps the corner. When you put trend line by angle over here, it wouldn't. But in this case, it keeps it keeps exactly the measure it doesn't replace. Let's change these properties into rays. So it should be much better this way. And now look what happened here. These all lines, they show you exactly what's gonna happen in the future. You might realize if you build up next rectangle, you will, you can determine other tops and bottoms of the market. Look what's happening here. Let me show it once again. So at the moment, we are at the key point. If the market comes here and stops here, it makes a week up to 115.90. It means that the market could be could return over here and go to the next uh, next day turning point. We've got on 29th of September, which is at the level of 119.24 on EURUSD, eh? because I'm on EURUSD chart as usual. So if we add up another rectangle here and we can go up to infinity and I'm assuring you that it works as resistance and support. Look, after the first leg determined here, the next one worked like resistance support. Look, look like the price was climbing on this line, broke through, made a hit here, and fallen and didn't come back anymore because when you see over here the lines are still valid it's not the trend line by angle it's just simple single simple line and you see here again the price was respected over here when broken it's going to the next resistance Net support, sorry. So in this way, it will rise probably here again and fall to the next one. When you draw an X, this one, this time it came a square. So it looks like, well, like we are squaring time and price over here. I tell you in my other videos that these lines, when these squares meet, usually it's, it's a reversal point. One is here, which is the small correction on four hour chart. You'll see it better. Here is another one. The market stopped here and came back. Next one here, does it show? Not exactly, it's just missed. But here we had correction again at this level here. All right, so somehow, and in this way you can make any other division. You don't need to do it from here to here. The first leg is the most important in my opinion. Same way if the market reverses here back, you can do squares over here, the smaller ones, the, the shorter cycles. Well, that's it for today. I hope it helped you somehow. It clarified your point of view on geometrical trading. Thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourself, green peeps, and bye-bye.